All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're back hitting up some double trouble. Let's, uh, let's all dismount and get ready now, for a home invasion. Be. The ball is tonight. They must have taken the invitations with them. Hey, kid, got some you info? You wouldn't happen to have seen two carriages pass by here just now. I did, sir. One with a man in it, the other with a woman. They split up. Where did the man go? That way. Thank you. Thanks, love. Move, kid. Thank you. One more. All right, Got a full gang going. On the right track. Come on, move, move. Walk on, girl. Easy does it. Where are we going here? Doing fine, girl. <sighs> Don't kill any policemen. A private party event. Don't mind if I do. Oh no. Oh god. I did not see you. Come on, lads. Finish him up. Right, I'm glad it doesn't count if I uh am not the one to do the killing. All together now. I don't got mind to pack it all in. Mr. Gladstone must be Pistols at the ready. Okay, so my men are not doing too well. Dead as a door now. And he's just glitched. Fire! So help me when I find you! 
Oh my god, it worked. It's really as simple as that. I'm in trouble now. Oh, that's another invitation I gotta steal. That's like, what was that? Towards the train station? Or in the train station? It might actually be in there. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay, so now all we gotta do is hop down and find a carriage. Maybe I haven't been quite as delicate as I could have been, but still. Can I, can I, thank you. Goodbye, gentlemen. That's a girl. Mrs. Gladstone's under guard. Better be cautious. Better wait until she's alone. Um, there she is. Now is my chance. I mean, not really. I gotta get all the way around. One should not attend the Queen's ball without making a proper entrance. No, no, go down. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay. Literally no exit windows here. <laughs> oh no! <sighs> okay, well that... I'm out. Thank God. <laughs> nope, go down. Go down. Thank you. Let's ruffle a few feathers. Now for the invitations. What's this? 
Swords must be left at the door by order of the Queen. Freddy will know what to do. Okay, well... We don't really carry swords. But I, I, I understand. That's the way. I have to try not to uh, damage it. When did I use a smoke bomb? Who's a good horse? You are. I'd really rather not damage Whoa, the carriage. Easy. I want to try to get 100% on this. That, that, oh, well, that might have actually did it. I don't know. We'll see. That's a girl. Slow down now. That's the way. <laughs> okay. Now what? Oh. Which you got there? Where did you buy it? If if you don't mind me asking. Ask all you want, Freddy. You'll never get an answer. Damn it all. Was it my eyebrows? Yes, and your face, voice, and body. Look, I've got an invitation to the Queen's ball tonight. How did you come by that, Freddy? There's to be an attack on the ball. I need to smuggle some weapons inside to prevent it. Supposing I believe you. Only the Royal Guard carries weapons. So? Too easy. For God's sake, Freddy. Fine. I require a guard's uniform. Done. I knew you'd come through. Just promise me, Jacob, that you will return Mr. Gladstone's coach. Of course. Sweet. We're gonna have to go kill a royal guard. St. Martin's Church. Oh, that's... It's literally right here. Hold on, stupid nag. <laughs> Do I need to go up? Oh, okay. <laughs> what in God's name is Evie doing right now? Wow, really? There we go. Okay, so what exactly do we just don't kill anyone, knock out a royal guard? Where is the, there it is, thank God. I do not want to leap to death. anybody up on this roof I'm probably gonna not get the not kill any one part oh, he's not alone there's somebody near him
<gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Stop him! Shoot him! There we go. Charming. Now to hide the body. Ah, oh, shit. In here, that, this is good, this works. <sighs> Freddy, here I come. Okay, that was relatively clean enough. Mr. Abilene, I have your uniform. Shit. One uniform as requested. It's still warm. My gift to you? I will meet you on the roof of Buckingham Palace. You're such a romantic. Oh, I didn't see the hide the body in the carriage part. Oh, well. All right, so what's next? Eevee mission. Let's equip that Master Assassin's belt. Uh, weapons. Oh, yeah, got a few things. You see? Hmm. All right. Oh, wait. No, I actually forgot. I need to switch over to Eevee. So I might as well just, like, do it now. And then we're gonna... Enter outfits. Capes. What, what what is this? Shadrun. Okay. Let's give her some upgrades. Oh wait a minute. She's still technically a level eight skill. Yeah, she's got a bunch of skills left. Okay. Might as well hold that because we'll be at 10 in a second. There we go. Uh, inventory now. Gauntlets. Now, all we 
have to do is ow, figure out where the next mission is. Nowhere near a fast travel point. Oh, damn it, I forgot to actually select it. There we go. Okay. Family politics, lovely. Delighted to see you again, Miss Fry. Your Highness, the plans detailing the renovations to Buckingham Palace have gone astray. I suppose you will have to make do with the copies. There are copies? Where? Uh, not so fast. First, I have a matter of some urgency. Carrying out my plan would require stealth and speed, qualities I know you possess. Time is of the essence, Your Highness. Then make this quick, my dear. The most influential men in Parliament remain beyond my reach. But these very men have sent for carriages to prepare for the ball tonight. Acquire an official carriage, and we shall drive the politicians to their destinations. Along the way, I will meet with them, and afterward, I shall tell you where to find the plans. You're a shrewd negotiator. One must be when one is so often underestimated. Don't allow personal feelings okay. to compromise the mission. What a mistake. Steal a carriage without, uh, without entering the courtyard. How do you do that? I'll just grab you. Thank you. Because it's in the courtyard and no one's gonna, you know, make it move. Without entering the courtyard. Can I take one of all the barges about? Wait, where is the carriage? There's one. Oh my god, it has turned into an absolute cluster. I think I can keep it above 50%. 
There you are. And I didn't enter the courtyard either, at least I think not, so here's hoping. There you go. Oh yeah, we're good. A few scratches it has can be just, you know, buffed out. Thank you. Go on. Climb up, Your Highness. Where are we headed? Belgrave Square. Oh, that's continuous. Okay. We might we might not get that then. <laughs> there you are. We'll see. Easy now. I overshot the turn. I overshot the turn, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Welcome, sir. Your Highness, what a surprise. <laughs> Is life not about embracing the unexpected? I shall take but a few moments of your time. A matter of utmost importance must be discussed. When the Commonwealth seized the Punjab from my people, it was not a seizure, but a rightful transaction. Britain promised to protect me. By robbing me of my kingdom, Parliament acted in violation of the treaty signed with my family. Here, read it. I... I was not aware. Read. That is all I ask. You are one of the few in a position to help. I will do what I can. Thank you, sir. Well, well colonial politics is actually taking a different turn for once. I trust you and your son will enjoy the ball this evening. He is newly returned from Delhi. I will share what we have discussed. It is most disconcerting. That proved quite valuable. Where to now? St. James's Park. I noticed Mr. Green did not accompany you. He has other things to attend to. Ah, a pity. You two seem to get along nicely. Well, that was a problem, you see. One must not allow personal feelings to compromise one's mission. That sounds like a quotation. <laughs> it is. From my father. Ethan Fry. You knew him? No, unfortunately. But Mr. Green spoke of him. He sounded like an extraordinary man. He was, Your Highness. And your mother as well, Cecily Fry. She and your father were partners, inseparable. The only duo that came close to challenging Mr. Starrick. And very much in love, at least from the small amount I have been told. Cecily. I wish I could have met her. From what Mr. Green gathered, you share much in common. Your intelligence, for one. Easy, girl. Father never spoke of her. What would Mr. Green know? He was only a boy when he trained with my father. Children can be quite perceptive, Miss Fry. Yeah, that's definitely true. What, what's the old saying? Children always tell the truth. Because they do. They don't have filters. There you are. Slowly now. Easy, girl. In we go. Yes, sir. Good day, sir. Why, what are you doing here, Your Highness? I know how busy your days have been of late. A few moments of your time is all I require. This is all rather unorthodox, but continue. Britain was to protect me according to the treaty my family signed. Instead, she took my land. 
And now I hear Britain intends to strengthen her ties to India. Perhaps it is time to return the Punjab to her people. The Queen has supplied you with an annual income for God knows how long, and now you bite the hand that feeds you? It is not a matter of money. I cannot stand idle and watch my homeland subjected to the yoke of an outsider's rule. My people are treated as slaves. I will die poor a thousand times over if only to see them free. Your passion moves me, Your Highness. What would you have me do? Take this copy of the wrongful treaty and defend my claim to the throne. Good day, sir. <laughs> May God bless you. Okay. I assume there's one more passenger? Only one more remains. Yep. To the Gladstone residence. Do you miss India? I remember that my mother smelled of cinnamon. And when she cradled me in her arms in the summer heat, I would hold so still that she fell asleep. When I lost my kingdom, it hurt. But truly, when they took my mother away, I saw her again two years before she died. The summer long since faded. I miss her. I miss India. I love India because I love my mother. This day is a disaster. Get to the Snowbian Club, straight away. Penny Parish. Oh, the goings on of Britain and the world in your hand. No, Britain. Good day, Mr. Gladstone. Mr. Singh. You are a hard man to pin down. I know what this is about. Your politics have worn off. Your Majesty has tired of you. So now you come begging for scraps. You wound me deeply, sir. My people deserve freedom. I am here to fight for them. Why did you lose the Punjab? I shall tell you, Your Highness. You were outgunned, outmaneuvered, and simply outclassed. So gone. Yes, the Sikhs deserve freedom. I hope with British help and progress, they shall achieve it. Then why do they cry out for their king? Britain has a duty to bring about peace. It is an enormous responsibility. And I value your guidance and advice, along with that of Parliament. But it's our burden to rule India, and certainly not the duty of a forgotten leader who has not seen his country for 20 years. I apologize for being so frank, but one must not tell lies to a king. Your honesty is most enlightening. When I become Prime Minister, much luck, Your Highness, with your lobbying. I hope my advice has done some good. Far more than your policies thus far. Damn! But I hold out hope that you will make progress. My people are counting on it. Where to now? Am I dropping you somewhere? Nope. Thank you, Miss Fry. For forwarding my cause oh you are welcome i hope some good comes of it despite mr gladstone's vitriol those of us with the largest hearts protect them the most your father for instance from what i understand he was extraordinarily sad broken even after your mother's passing that kind of pain can blind us cause us to say outlandish things to protect the ones we love it's time you returned this carriage and recovered those plans. They are located in Buckingham Palace. The Queen keeps them among her personal papers in the white drawing room. I wish you a good evening, Miss Evie Fry. And to you, Your Highness. How are you there, Evie? Okay. I have to return the- like, I physically have to return the carriage, okay. Come on! We've got a relatively empty road for once.
I can't return it if Is it where it needs to be?
Wow, okay. That makes a whole lot of sense. This must be our, and I to remember. Okay, so this must be, is that the last mission or no? Because we're, it, like, it's got the kill marker, but I know we're not technically assassinating anyone. Oh my God. That is, this is like the last mission. You know. To kill Mr. Steric? I don't know. Can I go? No, I guess I can't. Okay, so this is the final mission, I think. Of course he'd arrive in that. Miss Fry? Hand him your weapons. We must enter an armed. You look ravishing, Catherine. I swear, it never 
never love you. Not in a million years, William. So, madam, your card. I seem to have Where is my card? card? Go on in, Sorry, sir, madam. Without cards. Dear me. <laughs> I am soon to become prime minister. What in the blazes is our carriage doing here? <laughs> they saw it. Did I hear something? No, just the voices in your own head. And yet, they are so much more pleasant than yours. Charming. Aren't I? Okay, so who am I playing? Oh, Evie. I shall go and find the piece of Eden. As you wish. I'm off to meet Freddy. You can... The plans are located in the white drawing room, which is most likely locked. The captain of the guard will have a key. Okay. What is he running for? Imagine the wisdom we could bring. Congratulations. The question is, how do I get over there? Yeah, I would assume I can't really climb. I can't do this on my own. Kidnap a guard. Okay. Thankfully, there are a few walking about. Closed, and this will be over before you know it. Who are you? What can I say, Nevin? Really? Looks like there's been a killing. Maybe two. Killing? Who killed someone? Gentle. You're not allowed here. She insisted on it. Gentle. That's too close. My arm. Be quiet. That hurts. That hurts. The lady is with me. Much obliged, madam. Gentle. There we go. My arm. Oh, we're no longer in the restricted area. Good. Gentle. Gentle. My arm. That hurts. Level one. Okay. My arm. So really, if I had to, I might be able to take all of them. But you know, murder in Buckingham Palace is probably My not arm. the best thing to do. That hurts. My arm. Oh. 
my arm. That hurts. The plans are somewhere nearby. Can I... Now for the vault. Okay. You know what, if I can... Yep, let's grab this. question is how do I get out of here because I, I can't climb with this come here all right thank you sir do is work our way back downstairs where is the bolt entrance it, it's clearly down below us but is it like somewhere Jacob's else? most likely off stealing another carriage somewhere or accidentally pushing the Queen down a flight of stairs yeah we don't need to hear your inner monologue about your <laughs> hatred of your brother that's uh it's a little ridiculous don't you think He knows what he has to do. There you are. <laughs> I have someone I'm simply dying for you to meet. Uh, do, 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 do. come with me. <laughs> Your Majesty, may I present Miss? Uh, Evie Fry. You're the one responsible for Mr. Gladstone's mishap. Your Majesty, I apologize. I... The cake is particularly good. Enjoy the ball. I really must be going. Miss Fry. May I have this dance? Mr. Starrick, you've had your fun. But the game is over. Ah, uh, uh. Listen. One, two, three. One, two, three. Time is a wonderful thing, Miss Fry. It heals all wounds. We may make mistakes while dancing, but... The mazurka ends, and then we begin again. Problem is, everyone forgets. They trip on the same mistakes over and over. People can learn. Can they? Isn't everyone around you repeating the same steps? But if one man could remember the dance, could know the time, that he could change things for the better. I have had enough. This dance is nearly over. Soon, the people will forget the generation on this terrace. The ruin you nearly wrought on London. 
When the music ceases, Miss Fry, your time is up. And mine begins. Well, shit, okay. Do we have to, like, help her out or no? Search for Freddy. Starek peppered the regulars with his own men and took several guards hostage. Your weapons are in there. All right, in we go. Look. Right. I'll kill the imposters and rescue the captives. How? It's impossible to tell the difference. Oh, ye of little faith. to find the real royal guards. Okay. Some over here and the others are like, like 123 meters the other way. Get you out. Thank you, sir. Thanks, mate. You'll have to come down sometime. <laughs> you cheeky sod. Last two. Right, that'll be all. 
Yep. Now we just go up. Hold still for a moment. Are right, you free? You! You're hired! Oh, I can recruit them. Lovely. Four of Good to go. Reach the rooftop and signal Evie. All has seemed to go smoothly. My dear? Do you require assistance? I never liked balls. <laughs> Here, the location of the vault. Go! Just like that? No plan? No time for plans. I'll catch up as soon as I'm rid of this infernal contraption. Was she just gonna undress in the middle of the party? Oh shit! Exploiting, I warn you, my boy, but you do not listen. Requiem's cart and pache. Okay, we got a time limit too. I'm 
coming over <laughs> Go, let's go save Jacob. Jacob! Ah! Come on, Steric. Rectify my mistake. It's about time we cut off his head. I will begin again. And if you run it, I admire some close. Oh shit. Pull up, pull up. Me two feet away from him, and now I'm all the way over here. Oh god, okay. Focused. London will perish without me. You flatter yourself. I would have created a paradise. The city belongs to the people. You are but one man. I am at the very top of the order. You were, Mr. Starrick. <laughs> you were.
Shame we won't be partners anymore. It's for the best, isn't it? Are you going to wear the shroud and run London? Whatever it gives, it takes from someone else. You'd continue to age without me. You'd become like father. A fate worse than death. Will you wear it? After you sorted out the boroughs, the chaos I caused, I couldn't compete. Jacob Fry stepping back. Who's blackmailing you? Is it George? He wouldn't dare. <laughs> I've missed you. Me too. Would it be possible to continue where we left off? I'd love nothing more. I'm starting to think Father didn't know everything about everything. <laughs> Henry. It's a big world out there. With London in the center. Perhaps not the very center. I came as soon as I could. Do not worry. I'll... I'll head back to the train. Did I... Did I jeopardize the mission? Henry, you saved it. I think you belong in the field. With me. A carriage. Nicely done, Freddy. Mr. Abeline, please. Your Majesty. Miss Fry. You've met before? Did I never mention? Mr. Abeline informs me that you three are responsible for saving my life. Is this true? It is, Your Majesty. Evie Fry, step forward. And you? My brother, ma'am. Jacob Fry. And this is Mr. Henry Green. Mr. Fry? Mr. Green? Neil? Invest you all in the Order of the Sacred Garter. Thank you, Your Majesty. <laughs> if you are as adept as Mr. Abeline implies, I may call on you. Sergeant Abeline tends to exaggerate, Your Majesty. We shall meet again. And Miss Fry? Ma'am? Should you want it? I saved you some cake. <laughs> Father would be proud of you. <laughs> Dame Evie Fry. <laughs> Sir Jacob Fry. <laughs> Race you to the train. You're on. That's it. It's under the palace. Time to go. Let's get the shroud to Dr. Grammatica immediately. Sigma team beat us here. We're too late. What do we do? Killing really is the least productive way to achieve our goals. 
kill them all. Leave them Contact! Cover me! That skinny piece of shit tried to murder me, Berg. I want them him to bleed. That poisoned us, them that told us lies of their bravery. Them that preached our progress and put us in the poorhouse. Them done the horrid murder on bloody stages. Them that loudly corroded their humility. Lords and dames that sucked in the chapels on a sun. All quiet now, their mouths are stopped up. Hold I still, goddammit! They lie flung in racks and make no sound. Only the mission matters! Understood! Those who fought for Sean! better, those who fought by how they live. Loved ones taken long before their work was done. Galena, we need an exit! We need to go now. Understood. Shroud. Forget the bloody shroud. Stay with me, Bex. Please. We go. Good work in there, Initiate. In time, we will recover the Shroud. And hey, we pulled a feed from our bug in Isabel's computer before they shut us out. Playing it now. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> so, how's the Shroud gonna help you create a new clone? It's not... And the shroud is wrapped around the body. It scans it for damage and then reconstructs it on a cellular level. You're not making a clone. You're gonna recreate a precursor from scratch. Bingo! The Phoenix Project timetable just got accelerated big time. I'm going to call Alan Rick and deliver the good news. <laughs> it's like Christmas! <laughs> Hello? It's me? Brought the shroud as you asked, but I'm scared. Do not fear me. You've done well. I'm not scared of you. I'm scared for you. Anyone finds out what you've been doing. You have played your part, my instrument. I will save you. I will save you all. Okay, well, holy shit. That, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, was at the end of the game. I am not quite sure if we're going to do any of the DLC. We'll, we'll figure that out. But, um, that was the end of it. Where, where is it? Where is it? Yeah. Um, sort of spoilers. That plot line was resolved in a comic. I do not own the comic. But I know it was resolved in a comic. I might link a video for it down in the description. But thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, Citizens of the Empire. Uh, if you enjoyed and you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. I'm not quite sure what we'll do next, but we'll see. And I will see you all next time.